Warning! When you believe in things that you don't understand, then you suffer. It's another big day on the WGN Morning News at 9. Today, Gerard Butler joins us to talk about his new action thriller, Plane. Plus, we'll talk with Samantha, the University of Illinois student who had success with the TikTok trending philosophy, Lucky Girl Syndrome. And Robin has the list. Fun facts about Friday the 13th. Live from the WGN studios, this is the WGN Morning News at 9. Good morning to me. Hey, Mike. Good morning, guys. How are you? You know, uh, this week we also had National Milk Day a couple days ago. And over the years, we've had so many clever uh, ad campaigns and stuff for it. But it doesn't always happen just in this country. Here's a good one from overseas. Take a look. すごい牛乳好きだな。強くなるからね。強く。逃げろ。おお。逃げろ。強くて好き。飲まなきゃ。牛乳に相談だ。<笑><笑> <おー! 笑> <笑> Oh, same uh, idea as the ones we ran, same results. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dewey. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four. Well, it's a 99, baby. It's my favorite time of the day. Well, it's a 99, baby. Can't wait to hear what they have to say. Okay, number nine, we're looking at old-timey candies like this. Candy buttons, they've been around since the 1930s. But they were bought by the Nickel Company in 1980. They come in three flavors, cherry, pink, lime, blue, <laughs> lemon, yellow. Mm. Uh, oh, we have no idea blue, why the lime is, is blue and oh, not green, so I consider see. that a fun little quirk. So to this day, Nickel produces 750 million candy buttons a year. Neko, by the way, is known for those little Neko wafer candies. There's a, a Willy Wonka quality to them since kids can lick them up, paper, or pull them off. You always get too much paper mm. yeah. with them. It's never yeah. worth the work. All right, number eight, there's a quick and funny one. Owners of Burt's Books in Swindon, England, found a way to display the new book from Prince Harry. Check it out. They alternate it with the novel How to Kill Your Family in the book display. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. Yeah. There you go. All right, number seven. Uh, Robin doesn't like ski lifts, but she does like a good fall. She's about to get some redemption from this video of a oh. snowboarder in Austria. He's trying to use a T-bar to get up to the, the mountaintop. Okay. Anyway, this is great. What is this? They'll tow yeah. you up? Yeah, yeah, just wait. This... <laughs> All going well. Oh, no. Uh oh. What? Oh. What are you yeah. what is he doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. now here comes some consequences. Oh, no. oh. One. <laughs> Two. Uh, three. Oh, no. Four. Five. Uh, some of the people did get some injuries. They had to go to the hospital. Oh, they, were yeah. they were ultimately okay. A lot of people pointed out that the T-bar is a lot harder to ride uh, for snowboarders than uh, for people on skis. Uh -huh. I, I just can't believe they haven't changed the ski lift technology. You're basically sitting in an open chair. Yeah. yeah. You could it's fall fun out time. at any yeah. minute. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I see people falling out of just regular chairs all the time, yeah, so it's yeah, natural. Yeah. But you're high up. I mean, yeah. you, you depend, lean over one way, you're, it's yeah. all over. Yeah, consequences. And getting off of those ski lifts is not easy. I went face first in the snow the one time I skied yeah. because yeah. you just, you got to time it right. And yeah. yeah. I'll contact yeah. our local alderman, see if we can get them banned. <laughs> All right, number six, another abandoned movie set to tell you about. This one is uh, really obscure. It's from the 2023 film. No. Boy, I don't hear. I don't know. That, not 2023. I don't know when this came out. Uh, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. That had to be in like the uh, early 2000s, maybe. It's 2023 it's in, uh, right now. Yeah. yeah, no, it definitely isn't. 2013. It's in uh, Augsburg, Germany, just yeah. outside of Berlin. The medieval village was just left there in case producers wanted to make a sequel, but the movie was terrible and a total bomb. 
Uh, so the set was left there to rot. You can check out what's left if you're ever in Germany. Well, mm. gee, it seems like you could have some fun with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, they could have done some Game of thrones -y stuff there, couldn't yeah. they? Or yeah. Renaissance Fair. I don't know. Yeah, even one of those Hallmark Christmas movies. Yeah, yeah now, now you're talking. Yeah. We're they wasting our time yeah. here, right? Mm. We should be doing bigger, better things. Number five, coming up next Friday, a uh, new documentary about soft rock music uh, from the 70s and 80s. So we dug up this classic. You're the inspiration by the hit group Chicago. Oh, yeah. Foster wrote the song, it reached number three on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1985. Little known fact, it started out as a song for Kenny Rogers, but he passed on it. Really? Or he didn't have time to record it, but yeah, Kenny oh, passed out, right? Mm. Playing the electric guitar just in the lounge chair there. Yeah. You don't see that too often. I remember as a kid thinking, that boy, that guy is so old. <laughs> He's probably 40. And I know. Yes, I know that's plain to see. This is nice. We're going to do both verses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, number must four. be writing yeah. short on the uh, news story yeah. today. All right, number four. Everyone's trying to eat healthy, so here's an option. The baked salad. Warm kale and quinoa. Baked Caesar Brussels sprouts. The idea has been around forever. Back in 1390, a Roman recipe called for warmed, wilted greens. But you know, TikTok, they think they're the first ones to come sure. up with the concept. There are hundreds of videos right now with all sorts of baked salad options. Oh. Huh. So you're just w cooking the leaves and. Yeah. Mm. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, number three. Uh, here's something that's pretty cool. The arcade one up infinity board game. Any board game that you can think of is in this thing. Monopoly, oh. yep. Oh, wow. Risk, yep. Clue, of course. Battleship, Scrabble, Checkers, the game of life. And don't forget Uno. Uh, there are at least 100 games in all. The tabletop comes out in the spring for uh, 500 bucks. Right. It does sound expensive. Uh, until you put all the prices, all the games together, not uh, to mention the storage that you'll save, or you can just go to the Goodwill and buy them all for like six dollars. Uh, yeah, I think you can buy all those games for less than five hundred bucks. Yeah. And are you? Do people? I don't. I'm not a big game player no, though, and no. I and that, I would feel like if I have that, I have to invite at least three other people uh, over yeah, to play right. games. Yeah, that's never with, happen. I mean, those aren't yeah. solitary games. Those yeah, are yeah. joining right. games. Mm. All right, we'll take that off your Christmas <laughs> list and birthday list. Don't. Give this to Robin. Uh, number two, we love them in our smoothies, but farmers in Brazil are risking their lives to harvest acai berries. Most of the world's supply comes from the Amazon rainforest, and in order to get it, farmers there must climb to the tops of skinny palm trees to collect the fruit with their bare hands. Wow. Climbers must be lightweight since the trees are super thin. Once they're up there, they have to swing from tree to tree, grabbing multiple bunches of the berries. But here's something to think about. Those farmers are getting 20 cents a pound, Jeez. and here in the States, they jack up those prices, so we pay 15 bucks for that smoothie. Wow. wow. Uh, Unreal. Well. All right. Yeah. Economies are different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but still, that's, that's tough work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number one, uh, we don't uh, know how we haven't shown this before. This is allegedly... Video of Bigfoot from 2013. It was allegedly shot in the swamps of northwest Mississippi by a hunter named Josh Highcliffe. All right. Now, this is either the best fake out there or the best real footage of Bigfoot uh, that you will see. Now, keep your eye on the middle of the screen. The beast has its back to the camera, and it seems to be pulling wood from a cypress tree. All right. You see it? Uh, yeah, there he is. This is pretty good video. Look at him there. It's a gorilla. No, no in Mississippi. That's not a gorilla. Oh. <laughs> maybe he just maybe he ran away from the zoo. Yeah. You know yeah. the mascot of their college out there, the uh, the running gorillas. Uh huh. Why didn't he get a little closer? Yeah, exactly. But it is. 
pretty conclusive evidence. Yeah. Look at that. And they do love their cypress trees, too. But you know what? It could also be his fellow Bigfoot hunter in a, in a gorilla costume. Well, too. interesting that the entire time that the camera's rolling and this guy's standing there, Bigfoot never turns around. Well, Did you run out of digital space in your camera? He said there's a little slide pops up here. He, he accidentally does. stops recording because he was scared. Oh, well, yeah, Bigfoot sure. turns around and he runs. Yeah. Hey, you're gonna, Tim. You're going to see this. I think this slide comes up maybe if they recued it again. Look at Wow, this is amazing. God, it's right? really not. Nice. You're, you're such a downer. For the I really think you're such a cynic. Yeah, it is not? far more likely than this is an escaped gorilla from the zoo. Thank Robin's you. theory. Oh, than a, how do you guys believe Bigfoot. anything? Yeah, gorillas escape all the time. <laughs> He's right, Paul. Because well, how could there be one Bigfoot? There would have to be like dozens of <laughs> them. Yeah. Yeah. See, we've been talking about it for yeah. 100 years. You don't know how they hunt. You don't know how they forage. They might just send the you know the alpha gorilla. one guy. You've thought about this apparently. <laughs> yeah, where are they all hiding? I mean, they're just well, in too... Washington State. That's where the most of them are yeah. spotted. Why, or if they live in Mississippi, with the, they have all this hair all over them? They he's on they vacation. Maybe he's hot. from the Pacific Northwest. What do you What do you think? There's, One can just walk into a Jewel Osco and buy a, a, a Gillette razor. There's, there's, always, yeah. shave. there's hairy guys in the gym all the time. Look at this. This is amazing. Uh. Well, uh, just more confirmation. There you are. You, well, I don't know what more you want. I want to apologize. <laughs> we're just putting it out there. We're not saying it is anything. No, we're saying it is. I am <laughs> saying it is. Yeah. And you're a moron if you don't think it is. That's what I'm I, saying. I just feel like we would, well, what do I know? <laughs> what are you afraid of? Know. We're supposed to find out what, what it is true. and then pass it on, not just say, I don't know what this is. Let it's the uh, viewers figure it out. That's that's we do that every day. day. Paul and I are saying we know exactly what it is. We do that from four to nine every day. It's a nine at nine. Yeah, it is. Uh, nine at nine is a whole lot of fun.